Carly's seven years old, going to kindergarten. Chloe is our two-year-old who's very outgoing, very strong-willed and very independent. Dexter is probably the cheekiest person that I know. He has got such a bizarre sense of humour. Last year we had a few months in hospital with her where she got an infection in her leg and got endocarditis, which is an infection in the heart. And as a result, Chloe suffered a stroke. Yeah, and she has cerebral palsy. She was diagnosed when she was about 18 months. Dexter was born nine weeks early and when he was a month old we were told that he had brain damage. He's non-verbal, he's in a wheelchair and he's also a cancer survivor. Well personally it obviously breaks your heart when something like this happens. You know you have a healthy child who's born and you're leading you know the good life and all of a sudden you're in hospital and you don't know what the outlook is going to be for your family. Any kid with a disability changes a life Probably, so. She still needs a lot of support, uh, still getting in the car, going to the toilet. She still has a lot of physio. I've had to restructure my business so my wife can work from home and do the hard yards. We have to do everything for him. He needs 24 hour care. He needs full bathing assistance. He needs to be fed and he needs someone to give him a drink. He needs to go into a walker to actually try and take steps. We had to go through everything all over again. She had to learn to crawl. She had to learn to eat solid foods, she had to learn to stand up. And we're just in that stage of training the brain to try and take steps without the frame, but whether that will ever progress without her needing a walking aid, I'm not quite sure. Funding is the biggest barrier. They are expensive and that's hard. You know, you wish that you'd be able to just say, yep, you need this, I'm gonna go and get it for you right now. But, you know, unfortunately that's not the case and any do you have to put your hand out and say, please, can you help? So through Kids Fun, they've provided a beautiful chair and table that I use for Chloe's therapy, mainly her occupational therapy, which is encouraging her to use her left hand. So it's been really helpful because we can just sit there and put toys in front of her and she will be more likely to focus on that than getting up. That's Bubba. You care Bubba. The walker, it's, it's been great. She's had it for about 12 months, this particular walker now, and it grows with her age. I call it the four-wheel drive frame. It goes over the bumps and does a bit through mud and stuff, so that it's our outside one. She's seven now, so she may be able to use it till she's about eight, and then she will need a bigger frame. This is actually his third standing frame that he's had. His first one was um, an original little wooden style standing frame, which again, he's outgrown. Um, because as he gets bigger, obviously his, his requirements get bigger and he loves it, he loves this new standing frame. Carly is very energetic and she wants to do a lot of things. There was a few sports there that we gave it a go and walked away with a lot of tears. And then we found out about soccer through the Disability Trust. So we took Carly there, she loved it. She was mingling with a lot of other kids in the same situation. And she used her frame and gave soccer a go and absolutely loved it, yeah. Go on. He's been with the Music Makers for five years now. He has so much fun. Um, he only did four of their dances this year and the other times he was sitting on someone's lap and he was actually trying to get off our lap because he was dancing so much. He just, he loves it and, and Melissa and Nicole and the whole crew at the Music Makers, they're just amazing. They make it so much fun, they make you so welcome and he really does love it. Chloe is definitely the hero in this situation. She just kept on trying. I think she really helped us to get through that really hard part when we as parents were heartbroken about what had happened to our child. She was the one who kept going and we just went, look at how well she is. We need to keep on being positive and keep moving forward. So she's the hero. I often say to Carly's physio that she's a hero. We all introduced to her at 18 months. But she's taught Carly to be where she is today, from the crawling to the standing, pulling herself to stand, she didn't know how to do that. And then to get her to learn to walk with a frame. Um, yeah, she's a hero. The thing would be to say thank you to Kids Fund and the Disability Trust and to everyone who donates because without that funding, Dexter wouldn't have gotten the standing frame. We would have had to find funding from somewhere else that would have taken longer um, and he really wouldn't have gotten it. And it was a piece of equipment that he needed. Um, and so, 
you know, without that, without the support, this kind of stuff doesn't happen.